In his first week of office, Governor Jeff Landry used an executive order to veto the graduation appeal process approved by the Board of Elementary and Secondary Education, which means high school students can no longer appeal to graduate if they fail a state standardized test. Just over the course of this year, there was one student who committed suicide because he felt as though he couldn't get over the uh, high stakes end of the year testing. You know, that's how much he took that on himself. And this student had over 3.0. In order to walk across the stage, seniors have to complete a checklist. That list could include grades, test scores, and other necessary paperwork. There are certain cases where students have uh, uh, missed a few points and they've been able to go back and go appeal that process. And once they appealed, uh, they actually won the appeal process. But doing away with it now calls in question what happens if the system makes a mistake and a student needs to appeal. Now they no longer have that option to do so. But now a student can have it all. The grades, extracurriculars, perfect attendance, and in the words of school board member Darius Lanus, be forced to spend an extra year in the classroom. Louisiana has historically always fallen at the bottom of the totem pole when it comes down to education around our country. Lanus says taking away second chances for students calls for an increased tutoring and intervention programs. We are a state built around second chances and understanding that again, 50% of our students are not reading on grade level and have literacy based issues. We have to put interventions in place that are going to make sure we safeguard those. The concern for many educators is discouragement among students, possibly leading to more dropouts in impoverished communities. We don't want those types of uh, differentials to take place inside of a district like ours or anywhere across our state because it's detrimental to all student success. Governor Landry says ensuring our children Children have a quality education is top priority. Sydney Simone, NBC Local 33 News.